All right, just like you, my favorite thing about social media is being able to connect with amazing people around the country that think like you and, and feel the way you do and, and do the same things. And this guy I met a while back on Facebook, his name is John Conan. He is awesome. I don't know the guy personally yet, but you, you can tell, like, the, the, you know, the, the love and support and the, those positive terms in which he supports his students and, and faculty online. He's an amazing dude. Principal at Lincoln Elementary in Great Falls, Montana. I mean, National Blue Ribbon School. He is a National uh, Distinguished Principals Award winner. All right, so awesome guy. And recently he posted an article on teacher.org that said it was the, the title was 15 Memes That Make Me Laugh, Cry, and Try. And it was, you know, it was examples of all the cool stuff you can find on social media, and that's flying around the internet to, to, to really kind of fuel you and inspire you. And one of the things he, he, uh, he used as an example was my morning quotes that I pump out every morning, like 300 days in a row or something at this point. And, and the fact, man, like such an honor, and the fact that he used it is, is amazing, because I, 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 I wonder, is anybody even reading these things? Apparently he is, so there's one, and um, it, it, it's awesome. And the, the example he used was a picture of a kid. And it's a quote I posted a long time ago. It's a picture of a kid, like this kid is screaming, is out of control, and it says, this kid is 100% convinced that you're going to give up on him. Don't do it. Of all the ones he could have picked, I think that might be my favorite. There's so much in that. You know, just thinking about that kid, just the picture of the kid and thinking about that quote, that he's a 100%, like he's convinced, like every cell of that kid is consumed with the belief that you're about to give up on him. Because he has so much evidence of that. Like he has parents that gave up on him. He has teachers, previous teachers. He is Cub Scout Den Mother gave up on him. T-ball coach, Little League coach, the previous school's principals. And you just happen to be standing there next in line. And he knows you're about to give up on him. Don't do it. I love that one. Because that moment where he's convinced you're about to give up, he can see it, right? He, can, he sees the frustration, he sees you're angry, you have your hair in your hands, you don't have to pull it out, you have tears in your eyes, your face is red. It's Friday, you've been dealing with this kid all week, like 90% of your teaching time has been trying to corral and wrangle and maybe teach this kid something. At that moment, he can feel like you're about to give up and so many teachers hate that moment. But I would invite you to love that moment, absolutely love and relish in that moment. I love that moment, you know why? Because when I feel that frustration, when you feel that frustration, you're about to lose it and scream and go in the hallway and cry, that moment right there, that's the moment that you're gonna be the one adult in this kid's life who pushes past the point where everyone else gave up on him. And when you push past the point and you love that kid relentlessly beyond what, the point of everybody else in his life, that very moment is when a true relationship starts to build like the foundation the building blocks are being set in place and the foundation of the connection between you and that kid in that moment that's why I love it he needs you he needs that one person just the one adult in this kid's life that is willing to go way past the point where everyone else gave up on him he's 100% convinced you're going to do it don't do it. Love that kid relentlessly.